We only have until Sunday to take advantage of Charlotte Restaurant Week. Reservations, they are filling up fast. Out at one of the hottest spots where Wilson's at this morning, that's Dean and DeLuca down in South Park. Got to go check this spot out if you haven't. Listen, we're in the market. I have not been in here. This is some great stuff. I got a lot of prepared foods. And yeah, we're getting you all set for Charlotte Restaurant Week. Andres is here. Okay, Andres. Uh, and it's so nice to see somebody from Hickory, from Catawba County. Make, make it good in the world. Beautiful. <laughs> How are you? I am good. He's not from Catawba County. <laughs> uh, listen, wh what are we looking at over here, man? Meaning we have uh, 52 plates in prepared food. We yeah. start really early in the morning. And, you know, we have beautiful Andres size. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Now, you said the hot thing now you got going on are some of these green dishes over here. What, what, what is that? We have, uh, we make like a two, three different di uh, different recipe for local kale. Yeah. So my top seller is uh, a kale salad with apples and Parmesan cheese, raspberry vinaigrette. And then we have the Brussels sprouts with uh, barn squash and cranberries. You guys at home, you know we have this closed captioning thing that, that if you put the mute on or something, it'll work. Uh, <laughs> I would just like to right now just say... How you doing? Person typing out the closed captioning. Uh, Christopher, that's kale you said over there. Yeah, kale, it, it kale. is kale. And that's yeah. local kale. It is local, right, yeah. Okay, I got that. And you got all these things coming. People can come in here, okay, and, and grab some dinner and, and get ready to go. You got a special deal going on in the afternoons, right? Yeah, we have um, a, a $14 box. $14 box is a one entree, two size. So you can come to the prepared food and you can pick and choose any entree and two size. Ah, good stuff. And of course, Charlotte Restaurant Week, you guys are real happy to be a part of that. That's huge. This is the last weekend for that. Yes, you know, so we started, you know, um, last, last Friday and was, it's a successful week. And, yeah. You know, we're going to show you later on some of the dishes we make. Yeah, what he said. Listen, all kinds of great stuff. Listen, one thing I got to point out right here, okay? Uh, and Andre is not from around here, but we can come together internationally, the United Nations, a lot of things would be solved. If everybody would just eat a meatloaf that big, good googly moogly, you can play softball with that thing. Yeah, it, it is a pound of turkey meatloaf, meaning they can feed a family of four. <laughs> yeah, no, you could. Yeah. Or, or just me. All right, so we're having a good time this morning. We're at Dean and DeLuca. If you're tuning, listen, I was just with Andres earlier over there. I'm now with a fellow named Marcel. This is him. You are not a mime. No. No, I'm okay, not good. Because last time I interviewed a person named Marcel, they were a mime. It was awkward. <laughs> Uh, let's, we're here at the pastry area right here. Goodness gracious, what are we looking at here? Man, man we got so many things. We got the uh, heart cheesecakes. We got French macaroons. We have the mini cakes. We have uh, the pear uh, barbered almond oh tart. We have the cake bites. We have things that are moving Listen, down. The we have the hearts. Here. Tell the, me about this bread. That's what man, you guys are, people go man, crazy Man, they're going crazy over this bread. It's yeah. the chocolate and cinnamon baka. You can make French toast out of it. You can just, if you want syrup, you can have syrup. If you don't even want syrup, yeah. You could just even eat it just all together as one. Just put it all in your mouth and just, you know, ah. I because hope you're I'm soaking this in because you, this man, is the this most is energetic the pastry ever. chef I'm I have ever you, had on. He should be selling cars, <laughs> not macaroons. No, we got to sell this baka, man. We got to make some money. <laughs> so definitely, this is the place to be. Come and get some baka bread. Come and get some chocolate, cinnamon. Ooh. Eat it up. You got I'm some brownies man, over here as man, well. And look, listen, you know, we I got, got my favorite oh, brownie. My it's a chocolate uh, brownie with ganache over it with a white chocolate. Chocolate chips yeah, with yeah. the strawberry in the middle, oh, with the blueberries around. My goodness, I'm telling you, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. I'm gonna try, yeah, I am gonna try, try this. Yeah. I love somebody that loves what they do like I, I do. What is your what do you love about working here at the Patriot? I love it. I mean, I just love to make sure our customers are happy yeah. and that we got the best product for them. So when they walk out of here, they can say they got the best dessert ever oh my in the whole town. I love it. And listen, Caitlin back there in the weather center, they have the little wedding cookies. They have wedding cookies for you. Marcel will save you some. I've been hanging out here at Phillips Place all morning long. I have never been into this Dean and DeLuca. They've recently redone it, talking about Charlotte Restaurant Week. Andreas is here with us. Uh, we've established two things this morning. They have great food, and Andreas is not from Hickory or Catawba County, okay? Uh, what are we cooking up right now? So we're going to do the, the one the salads appetizer we have in the menu for okay. Restaurant Week. Okay. Uh, it's a baby spinach, you know, and yeah. then you have oh, yeah. uh, roasted. What is that? What's that? That's a barn squash okay. already roasted. Oh, yeah. Tomato confit. Okay. And then you have a dry black mission figs. Those are figs? Yes. Oh, I've never had figs on a salad. Oh, yes. And then you have a little white, white balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, okay, okay. Then you just mix it. Yeah. You just put a little... A little of this, a little of that. Oh, oh. Now, I don't want to give out any secret ingredients salt here. salt pepper. A little flavoring right there. Okay. And All you right. just mix it really well and just put in... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. 
And We're going to tell you more about Charlotte Restaurant Week as well. All and right. then you have okay. a little, you put the goat, goat cheese. We have a pistachio goat cheese. I'm sorry? Pistachio goat cheese. Pistachio goat cheese, okay. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Okay, good. I like the goat cheese, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Yeah, and then... Yeah. We're going to make one more dish. We're going to make, and now when we come back a little bit later on, we're going to get one more dish. And, and there you go. So that's one of the things you get. How many items do you have on the restaurant week menu? So we have two appetizers, two main entrees, okay. and then two, we have two desserts. What do you love about, I mean, we're almost through restaurant week right here. What do you love about Charlotte Restaurant Week? Uh, it's an opportunity for our customers yeah. to come and try new food and, yeah. you know, and then... You know, and do your thing. Well, you're getting people in here that maybe may not have come in before. They come in and then they're going to come back. Yes, and you know, and they try. It's, it's a new place to come, and yeah. you know, new food, and you know, we just take it really serious. We don't do any shortcuts. Yeah. We just give you. Now a listen. There's somebody out there. Look at that right there. Look right there. Okay. There's somebody watching this right now, Andres, and they're going. There's a dude called Andres on my TV telling me to eat goat cheese. Okay. There's people that, that they're, they're throwing them off with the pistachio goat cheese. Yes. You shouldn't be afraid of the goat cheese. No, because it's really it's a really mild goat cheese. Yeah. You just put it in the oven for 30 seconds, nice and warm, beautiful f for salads. So, well, see, but there's some people think of goat cheese on a salad. They're not used to that. Meaning that's why you come to Ding and the Look and try. Ah, yeah, I'm back around <laughs> here. And then you try something new. <laughs> uh, what are we now? Listen, we're going to tell you a little bit more about Restaurant Week. We're going to go over there. They're going to maybe go try some. What is it? Pate. Permit. Pay, pay, oh, pate. Pate, yes. I'm having some fun with you. We're going to go try that, and then we're going to cook another dish here. What's the next dish we're going to cook? Uh, we're going to have a, we have a duck breast with a... Oh, a what? A duck breast. Duck breast. With a duck confit fried rice. I think we got some of that. A little preview right here, and there's the menu over here for Charlotte Restaurant Week, okay? All kinds of great stuff. We're going to have more. I'm going to be trying fancy cheeses, and, and it's not pate. It's pate. Pate. I pate. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'm getting all cultured here. Charlotte Restaurant Week. I love this. So much great stuff going on. I'm learning a lot this morning. Uh, I got Jody and Carla here, uh, Dina and Luca Phillips' place. You're, they keep telling me that I have to try the pate. Uh, the pate. Whatever. <laughs> so it's pate. Okay. I know what it is. I'm just playing a goofball on TV. So tell me about your pate. Um, we have several kinds of pate. The one we have here is the frog rob mousse. It's pure duck liver mixed with uh, some wine, some okay. grapes. Okay. Fabulous. We have a couple of country pates. Yeah. Also a truffle For mousse. People that don't know what pate is, what is pate? It's usually ground up liver of some sort. Yeah. Pork, chicken, turkey, duck, and goose. It may sound a little funky to you. It's actually pretty good. It is very good. People yeah. love it. It is very good. It's got a distinctive flavor. And it goes well with, you know, some of the meats and cheeses. Fine meats and cheeses. Very nice meats and cheeses. Right here we have an Iberico. Yeah. That is one of the best oh, hams yeah. ever. It's oh, so creamy, it melts yes. in your mouth. So they got this going on, okay? They also, if you got like an office breakfast thing going on, uh, I want to know what that looks like a bento box right there, Carla. What is that? It is. It's our bento box. It's our signature box. Um, if you want to do any executive lunches, it's a great way to do board meetings with oh. other people. Oh. In here, we have our um, pesto salmon, yeah, yeah. our lemon orzo, one of my favorites, and in the back, an Egyptian cucumber salad, and then those delicious desserts Marcel gets for us. That's really good right here. And then just for everybody, you can have like the big basket and everything. Big baskets. We get all of our stuff local from a bakery. Comes in fresh 6 o'clock in the morning every day. Oh my gosh. This would be great for your office meetings. And all. If somebody wants to find out more about catering here, what should they do? They should email us at charlottecatering at deanandeluca.com and myself or Carmen will get back to them. I love that. And let them know and we can send them a menu right over. Let's go, people. You got time to lean. You got time to clean. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. I know how it is. I used to work in a restaurant way, way back in the poor days. Listen, we're hanging out this morning uh, doing this. Andres is here. We're talking about Charlotte Restaurant Week, okay? What are you cooking up right now? So we're doing the duck confit fried rice. Okay. So it's a uh, duck confit, uh, cabbage, uh, pickled ginger. Uh, we're going to add a little seaweed salad. A little what? Seaweed. Seaweed. Salad. You're putting seaweed in here. Yeah. Just a seaweed salad. Seaweed, okay. Yeah. What's the difference between seaweed and kale? Meaning it's uh, more Asian and the, the kale is more, it's more like a vegetable. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, again, shout out to our closed caption person having to type all this out this morning. Okay, so we got all this going on right here. Oh my gosh, now what is this? That's a duck breast. Okay. Charlotte Restaurant Week. Uh, we're on the final end of, of the tail end here of Charlotte Restaurant Week. Okay. So, Andres here, Dina DeLuca Phillips Place. This is one of the menu items here you can get. 
for Charlotte Restaurant with Queen. Oh, what is that? That's a cherry gastric. It's like a sea, sea, is sweet good. and sour uh, oh, I like that. cherry okay. sauce. Okay, okay. Next uh, step here. In the kitchen, hanging out, doing his thing. Oh, watch this. Here it is. This is how you... Oh, see? I would want to get one of those in my kitchen, but I'd be scared I'd lose a finger. All right, here we go. Look at this. This is some good stuff right here. Good stuff. He's going to work on that right there. We got that. And, and now... Just put the dog press. You're just going to slice it really thin. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. That looks great right there. So while he's cutting that over there, you guys see that when you... When we, we come around here a second, you'll see what it's going to look like on your table. Andre's kind of putting it all together. Charlotte Restaurant Week going on to the 25th, and we got the menu here. And now look at this. Through the miracle of TV, ladies and gentlemen, look at these great menu items. Bruce Hensley's back here with us uh, with the Charlotte Restaurant Week. Uh, for the Charlotte Restaurant Week has just been gotten so big and so big. There may be some people that still don't know about Charlotte Restaurant Week. What's it all about? 125 restaurants in an eight-county area offering three courses or more for just $30 through Sunday. Four more days. Yeah, so you got to jump on this. Great opportunity for you guys to go in and, you know, check out some places. Maybe you haven't been to, maybe you've wanted to, and it's a great deal as well. And look at that right there. That's what that's what Andres was just cooking up. That looks amazing over there. Great menu items here at Dean and DeLuca. Really great menu items at, at some of your favorite restaurants, the ones you heard about, and maybe some little hidden gems as well. Four more days, 125 restaurants. That's a dilemma. It, it, well, yeah, which one are you going to do? You can't hit all of them in four days. You can try. You, you could. You could. You could. Uh, if people want to find out more about Charlotte Restaurant Week, how does how does all of this work? There's no tickets, nothing like that. You just no got to go to the website. You go to the website, charlotterestaurantweek.com. We have the restaurants listed by alphabet okay. and geography. Okay. You pick the restaurant, you look at their menu, make reservation, and strap on the feed bag. No, no I love it. This is some really, really good stuff. We got that linked up for you at WCCBCharlotte.com. Uh, they're also really active on Twitter as well. We're going to get some pictures out of these great menu items. Big thanks to the crew here, Andres, Lance, everybody here at Dina and DeLuca. I had no idea after this remodeling that they had this much going on. Great stuff. Come eat. Come check out their market as well. Uh, again, WCCBCharlotte.com. Big thanks to Bruce. Everybody, check it out. It's Queen's Speech. Charlotte Restaurant Week. Back to you guys in the studio. Hey, are, are you hungry?